Ancient Greek technology, the first robot, miraculous doors, high-tech defense systems, and simulations from the Museum of Crete. Most of you know the Antikythera device, but you know they also had ancient cinemas, if you could believe that. They even had a robot called Talus protecting the island of Crete, and various machinations. The exhibition on ancient Greek technology presented by the Museum of Heraklion Crete, that's southern Greece. It's the island between mainland Greece and halfway between mainland Greece and Egypt. It's in the middle of the Mediterranean Sea. So uh, this museum in Heraklion Crete includes dummies of ancient Greek invention that impress not only lovers of history but also researchers of natural sciences. What could connect a walking robot born in antiquity with a mission to serve wine to the attendants of a table with the violence of war? Yes, they had a woman robot pouring uh, wine in a cup and the cup would have half wine and half water and the guest would go and take his cup of wine from the uh, plate that was holding the cup. And this was a robot that was doing it, dressed as a woman. Now, the answer seems to be hidden among the complex mechanisms of ancient Greek technology which give birth to great war machines, inventions that are still used today, but also an ancient robot in the Greek public that the Greek public had never seen before. The two restored buildings of the Heraclides Museum in the historic center of Athens have been hosting an extremely interesting exhibit. Kindly support my Patreon account since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. The exhibit is on ancient Greek technology in recent days. This is the Eureka exhibit, which was presented for the first time in China back in 2017, with at least 500,000 visitors and includes, among others, the walking therapy that served spilled wine to attendees, automatic miracle doors, as well as a series of exhibits of ancient Greek military technology, such as the catapult, the flamethrower, and other things, the uh, uh, compound bow. Now, uh, Sputnik was at the Heraclitus Museum and talked to the museum's founder, Pavlos Firos, about the exhibition dedicated to ancient Greek technology. Mr. Firos emphasized, the visit, re the visit really puts you in Greek technology when you relocate yourself two and a half thousand years back, you realize that science began there. They invented the first steps. We could not have the technology we see today if we had not gone through that first stage, Mr. Fierce says. He says it's very important to understand that all of this was not invented until then, and it's just a matter of time. But for some reason, the lot fell on the Greeks to think one step further and raise the bar. This is what uh, the founder of the Museum of Heraclean notes. He, referring to the particularity of this exhibition, emphasizes that its differentiation in relation to other exhibitions of ancient Greek technology is its scientific documentation. The way to give the visitor the confidence that what he sees is an authentic dummy is to expose, uh, that means a replica is to expose the result of the study of professors and researchers who also put their name on these. This is what Mr. Fierce explains. He said that we wanted to be exclusively uh, works that have been studied and approved. Every piece that makes up the exhibit should be documented. He underlines, adding that when children come from schools, it's not right to show them something that we think existed, but something that actually did exist. Now, the walking therapy in the center of interest. The walking therapy, 
was one of the most important and certainly one of the most impressive exhibits of the exhibition, while it was the first time it's presented to the Greek public. This is the robot that, thanks to the important professors Theodosius Tasius and Manolis Kore, combines the ancient mechanical drawings of Hero and Philo and has the ability to move in space and fill the cups of the attendants of a table with wine and water. And that was the woman dressed as uh, the robot woman that pours wine and water in the cups of uh, the visitors. Now, the communication manager of the Pandelis Mitzias Museum who guided us to the exhibit explains that the secret of Therapenida, the walking therapy, is on her back, where there are two containers of wine and water. When someone puts an empty cup in Therapenida's hand, the walking therapy, she's called Therapenida, uh, this weight works in such a way that Therapenida fills it to a point with wine. When the required amount of wine is served, then the wine valve closes automatically and water begins to flow. The water valve closes in the same way and the movement in the space is done thanks to the mechanism that uses the weights of the um, uh, containers. Now the therapies, the, um, the, uh, this is a translation from Greek, that's why it doesn't make really sense. Now the therapies of Therapenida are based on the plans of Heron for the movement in space and Philo for the supply of water and wine. But it took the specific skill, the scientific skill of Professor Tassius and Kore to be able to see Therapenida in the eyes of the inhabitants of modern Athens. This shows an advanced understanding of physics and engineering. The Therapenida combines these two together, together and shows that the mind could go further. This is what Mr. Fierce commented referring to this invention, the robot that pours water and wine. It could have gone further, but the Romans happened to come and stop us for a while, he said with a smile. The miracle of the automatic doors and the Antikythera mechanism. Another impressive exhibit is that of the doors of a temple that opened miraculously when the believer lit a fire on the alt altar of sacrifice. But what the believer of the time did not know was that under the ground was hidden a whole mechanism and that the god, quote unquote, the ancient god, who opened the doors was none other than physics itself. <laughs> physics, the laws of physics. As Mr. Mitsu explains, the heat of the altar heated the air in a pipe below, which sent water into a container, the weight of which made the doors appear to open on their own. When the altar was cold, the reverse process closed the doors. The exhibition presents an impressive copy of the legendary Antikythera mechanism, perhaps the first computer of mankind, the accuracy of which is still admired today. Mr. Mitsius, referring to the scientific advisor of the exhibition, Theodosius Tassius emphasized his devotion to the presentation of only those elements of the mechanisms that are completely scientifically substantiated. The exact copy of the Antikythera mechanism has been designed on a scale three times larger than the real one so that the visitor can be, see, can be able to see the details of the construction inside. Now the war technology, technology that saved lives Mr. Fieris explains the war technology of the ancient Greeks not only helped but also saved. Western civilization exists because of the naval battles of Salamis we won against the Persians. If we had not won, the Persians would have occupied all of Europe and things would have been completely different today. In the exhibition of military technology located in the building on Apostolo Pavlo St. Paul Street, both the exhibits and the way they are presented are equally impressive. When we talk about ancient naval technology, we're talking about triremes. This is a small model of a trireme. You can see it had oarsmen. This one has three. That's why it's called tri trireme. And uh, of course, huge sails. Mr. Mitsius emphasizes presenting 
the representation of the Athenian ship, which, as he says, dominated the seas for about 1,000 years. At the same time, he explains that something that is not very well known nowadays is that Piraeus had dozens of ship depots as well as paddle containers so that the triremes would not spoil in the water. The exhibition also presents a steam boiler designed by Archimedes and capable of launching ammunition over long distances using the power of steam. And according to Mr. Mitsius, both the steam locomotive and the arc catapult, which is also presented in the exhibit, have been tested in real conditions and are fully functional. In the same part of the Eureka exhibit is presented a nautical construction that the modern spectator could perhaps resemble, uh, see that resembles a catamaran ship. This is a besieging ram, Elepolis, which was placed on two separate ships and could act as a siege for the naval walls of the city. The ways of transmitting messages developed by the ancient Greeks are also extremely interesting, as they even include an optical telegraph through which they encoded messages, while the way of presenting the exhibits that have to do with communications is equally impressive and interactive. Automatic machines developed through during the Hellenistic period came to life uh, back in 2018, years later. Now, ancient Greek technology, the first robots, miraculous doors, and weapon systems. And this is from a, a Greek article I've translated for you. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support.